Oh, that hurts. Oh. Seriously, you guys want me to make it out of this? Gotta be kidding me. So this right here is a Mao San Wang Durian, which is really popular in Singapore and which really hurts on my fingers. So by popular demand, I'm going to turn this into a Durian Game Boy, a Pokey Boy, a Pokey Ball, a Spiky Boy. Hi, I'm Cedric and today we're going to make Pokey Boy. So first things first, we're gonna have to empty out the durian but before that, if you just want to watch the end product and see people's reactions then do check out the description, I'll leave some timestamp there. So without further ado, cue the montage. So for starters, I had to remove all the seeds from the durian and then I kept it in the fridge as a snack for later on. Then I decided to trim down the middle of the husk because it was taking up too much space and then I washed out the gunk and I labelled them so that I knew like which piece would fit with which in the end. And with that done, it was now time to rejoin the pieces. So there were multiple approaches I was going for but I decided in the end to use L brackets. The L brackets worked really well, however it left some gaping holes in the durian console. So I decided to use random pieces of screws that I had lying around to just drill it shut. As icing on the cake, I decided to use a door hinge to allow the, du the durian to open and close shut. Like, kinda like a mouth. And since I already had the power drill in hand, I also decided to just make the holes for the buttons where they are going to be later on. the casing settled, I wanted to get a bigger screen for this console because the tiny one was ruining my eyes. I managed to get a really cheap one off of Lazada but I needed to modify it before it worked. I realised I was lacking some desoldering equipment so I went out to get it. So now that I had the tools, I began disordering. Unfortunately, I accidentally ruined the circuit while I was working on it. The circuit was not documented online and everything I did was guesswork, so it didn't turn out well. Since the large screen was not working, I decided to fall back to the tiny screen. The way the durian stick broke, but I was thinking it, it wouldn't look nice without a stick, so I kind of implanted a random stick I found on the ground. I also took the opportunity to cut out a hole for the screen. Then we move on to the last portion, which is to fit everything into the shell. Okay, so we got two PC bots over here, PCB bots, and we're gonna port over all these wires onto this instead of using the breadboard because it's too big to fit in the durian. That thing is small. Right, so let's get soldering. I decided to make three separate circuit boards, one for the top shell, one for bottom shell, as well as for speakers. So the Pokeboy was created, and I brought it to school to show some of my friends. Guys, can I record a video of your... Okay. <laughs> I show y'all something. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Someone said durian just now. Oh. It's the world's first durian game boy. Oh shit. I can, I can spill the durian. Very spiky, right? <laughs> you should fall down the spike so you can pull it. Mario. No, no, this is not Mario. <laughs> 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 Everyone be careful. It's a durian, guys. Okay, <laughs> 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 
unfortunately it started crashing and there was just no way to fix it, I didn't know what happened. I was actually supposed to go and film like right after I showed it to my friends but not only was it crashing, I also felt nauseous like for the entire day. Like I, I just felt like puking the entire day from the moment I woke up to the moment I slept. It's just like... That's why I sounded so dead in the video. Found out that the nauseousness actually came from the soldering fumes. If you breathe in too much of it and your room isn't ventilated, then you'll get soldering poisoning. Ventilate your rooms, people. And the crashing. So honestly, I think that the crashing was a result of short circuit because there were many open circuit boards and there were many L brackets inside. If any of the metals touched, it would cause a short circuit, so I, I had to change the design. I ported everything over to a single circuit board, and this is what I did. So in the midst of soldering, I actually messed up my Raspberry Pi. So a small bit of solder managed to find its way onto the board, and it's not removable, or I'm not sure how to remove it, and I, I can no longer use this board, so that's sad. However, I'm going to port the project over to a Raspberry Pi Zero. So one of the perks of using a Pi Zero now is that it's much smaller than the 3B, meaning that it would fit well within the durian. As you can see, I'm using a lot, a lot of masking tape to ensure that solder doesn't get onto the circuits this time. So after soldering on some GPIO pins, wired up the circuitry from the original 3B, flashed the operating system, configured certain lines of code, and there we are done with the circuit. So now we are moving on to the console making. This time it's going to be quick. Ta-da! And with the Pokeboy completed, it was time to have some fun. And I messed up the audio for this. Funny cause you guys can't see me talking under my mask. But the long story short is, I brought the Pokeboy to Funan, which is a tech-based mall in Singapore, and I showed it to a bunch of fun people. Okay, so they have agreed to review my invention right here. You guys can remove it from the back. So what is this? What, 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 what is this? <laughs> the smell is still there. <laughs> yeah, the smell is still there. <laughs> Fresh. Oh no, you you. Yeah, that. The difference is that you're holding it, right? Yeah. I, I mean, it makes it tougher because right. it's really painful. Have you hold it? <laughs> and yeah, it's difficult. Have you hold it? Hold it? No. <laughs> Do you guys think it's a good invention? Um, I think it's creative for sure. It's very it's unique. Creative. I've never yeah. seen this. <laughs> the durian makes you hard to play. It does, right? Yeah. But that's the point, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me that coin. Oh, oh, it's so good. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this tastes very hard. Wait, what are you going with the melon? Okay, you guys can open it up and tell me what you think it is. <laughs> it's not a ring, right? No, it's not. It's not. Definitely, it's crossed my heart. It's like bomb. It's like yeah. bomb. <laughs> Do you guys know what it is? No. Have you guys ever heard of a Game Boy Advance? Oh uh, yeah, Game Boy, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. That, that makes me feel a bit younger. Okay, so basically... It's <laughs> like, oh, it's Super Mario, eh. <laughs> but why is it in a durian? That's a good question. Cool, eh? Thank you. Did you use glove? Yeah, right. No, I didn't. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Legit. <laughs> wow, your hands are made of steel, man. Yeah, I feel damn. This is the movement. This is the right. This left. This up. This down. Oh, cool! Oh my god, it's my first time playing. Eh. Really? I yeah. never played it before. Eh. Yeah, oh, this is damn cool. Mario is like childhood for me. You're doing good. You're still alive. Is that a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Is this supposed to be a surprise? No. So cool! Oh my god. Do you expect to see this today? I know. <laughs> this is like so random, like a durian. I know. Have you guys ever played Mario? No. Yeah. No. I have. Good. You guys are missing out. Mario is like my childhood, man. No childhood. <laughs> you just say no childhood. Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation. It's very pretty. Yeah. All the old consoles and it's it's on Nintendo DS it. works on this. Press it, press it. It hurts. What made me create this? I it was a joke actually. <laughs> I thought it'd be really funny to go around public and like play with this. Actually I made one before this. I made a watermelon. Yeah. And because Durian cannot bring on the train, right? Yeah, so oh. the watermelon I brought on the train oh, and randomly I would take it out and just start playing. And then people would be pretty well. Yeah, so we started as a joke. Yeah, then a lot of people who saw the watermelon asked me for a durian, so I decided to make one. What, do you think that there's like any way to like make it like like 
Less painful to hold. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the point of it. Yeah, it's painful to hold. I died. Game over. I'm thinking of making other stuff. Uh. I don't just want to do like fruit game boys. I don't want to be known as the fruit game boy guy. <laughs> well, it's not a bad label. What? It's not a bad label. I, I would think it is. I have people calling me melon boy now. <laughs> I don't want I mean, to be calling the melon it's boy. It's <laughs> Have you guys managed to clear a level? No. No. <laughs> it's really hard, right? Yeah. yeah this stage, I cannot clear this stage. It's not exactly stuck here. the most I think ergonomic. Most... What will you guys rate this out of 10? For comfort, I would say 0. How <laughs> about creativity? 8. 8. Yeah. Eight, give it eight, eight. Right? I think that. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it 8. <laughs> I also brought the Pokeboy to the CBD, you know, um, just for fun. And there were several passerbys that actually stopped me and asked, you know, like, hey, what's this? And we had very meaningful conversations. Those were things that I really enjoyed. I also just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching the content. Um, the, the previous video, Melon Boy, actually gained quite a bit of traction, more, more than what I actually expected. And I was very pleased. Um, but, but the biggest takeaway I felt from it was, you know, there were many people that reached out to me and said like, hey, because I watched your video, I felt inspired to do my own project. And, you know, that, that, that just felt, that gave me very good vibes. I, I felt very wholesome about it. You know, I'm humbled to even just think that something I'm making for fun can have an impact on people. Like, you know, on a, on a very serious note, it, it really touched me. I felt like, Wow, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, guys. Go on, do your own robot, wacky robot project. Yes, embark on your journey. Make something. <laughs> yes, make something if you can. <laughs> it's fun. On another note, I just want to clarify that this channel will not just be a Fruit Boy channel. I have plans to do other like weird kind of robot projects. If you guys watch Michael Reeves or even William Osman, Alan Penn, yeah, those are the kind of things I kind of want to do. Well, some of what they do is illegal in Singapore, but you know, I, I also want to have fun with robots. But here's the catch, it's a bit tight on me right now with the uni sam going on. I'm having like what, 4 hours of sleep a day? Caffeine? I'm very caffeinated right now. Life is rough. C'est la vie. I'm learning French. Yeah, so if you guys have a crazy robot idea or like if you want to see a certain fruit turn into a game console, do let me know down in the comment section down below. I read every single comment. On a closing note, please remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button and leave your robot ideas down below in the comments. I have social media too. Follow me here, here, here. I don't know why I'm going to put my social media but it's somewhere here. I'll try to post every now and then. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. By the way, my brother's 13th birthday happened recently and for his birthday gift, I got him 13 canes. So it's Titi's 13th birthday. We got him 13 canes! Hear the song. Don't worry about it, I promise him a different gift. But for the record, his official birthday present was 13 canes for his 13th birthday. <laughs> Do check out some of my other videos if you haven't, which I'll put right here and right here.